Can you hear that? The generator's not running. That's because the power's back on. Power came back on last night. And today I immediately went back to work. Pond is mostly saved. The tree's gone, I cut it up, tossed it back there. Once the power came back on, it also started raining. See that little hole? Water is like, I can say pissing, right? It was pissing out of that. <laughs> but the leak was up top. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see, but maybe you will, but you can see right here where the shingles are a little shoddy. That's where I replaced them. But then I decided I'm so far behind on what I really want to do, which is renovate this room. You can kind of see, <laughs> I was gonna show you. You can kind of see how far along I've gotten already. The wall is up. This is a basic two by four wall. Um, and then I put in these panels here, just like this. These here, these are just MDF panels. Um, they're the identical ones that are back there. And I just continued to wrap it here. Um, and then this door, this door has definitely gotta be my favorite thing. It's a sliding door. Uh, a lot of people said do a pocket door. I didn't want to because a pocket door would have been far more difficult to create. The wall would have had been a slightly thicker. Um, and I don't want to lose any more space, but this is awesome. Now wait, oh, wait, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. So this took me forever to balance it perfectly so that the door closes on its own. It's not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put it on level. I didn't want to. I thought that was way cooler. And the reason being is because um, it's easy to open, but if I ever want it to stay open and circulate air or whatever, I just put the like something down there type of deal, hold it open. I'll probably just put like a door stopper. I don't know what I'll do, but it's pretty cool, right? I also thought these little windows here were pretty awesome. Um, and now you might be worrying about cutting off this building and circulation and whatnot. And I'm gonna show you a few things. See this little hole right here in the wall? That is uh, the air exchanger, which circulates 2,500 square feet uh, uh, per hour, I think it is. And this is only 500 the entire building out here. So it's sucking air from, or it's blowing fresh air in here and sucking it from the other side. There's also, and one thing you guys aren't gonna notice, and I don't even know if I wanna point it out because now you'll always look at it, but there's also another place of extreme circulation. I'll show you where it is, but you can never talk about it ever again. Underneath the floor. <laughs> um, I cut the panels a little bit just to uh, have that circulation under there as well. All fish survived, every single one of them. The piranha tank is just absolutely phenomenal too. A hungry bunch they are, and we're gonna have to feed them probably in one of the next videos, but for right now, um, I'm just kind of running you guys through this. I might feed them tonight. I gotta build 280 gallon stands next. But uh, yeah, look at these guys, just absolutely phenomenal. They all did fine. Power outage wasn't that bad. My water quality is better than when it started. One week without power. I fed them once during that week and that was it. I fed everybody once and the smaller fish ate, ate twice. But uh, no problems whatsoever. So now that this room is completely wide open, I'll see if I can kind of illustrate. Oh, and right here, I got too many. I should have put it on a tripod. I can walk through here easily. And I'm thinking about putting food storage back here, like a big rack of food storage possibly. But now that we have this, w w this area wide open. I might be putting the fridge back out here. I don't think so, but I do want a flat bench right here in front of the tank. And I kind of only want like plants, like lush plants. Like I want this to feel like an experience. You're looking at a white wall, but when I'm looking at it, like when I'm sitting here, I want it to be an experience, a plant, a tank, piranha tank, all these plants up here. As we travel into here, we don't have much done, obviously. Um, these stands got to get lowered. I'm going to wrap them and paint them in black stuff like this again. Um, it's relatively close to this wall, but not that bad. From floor to ceiling, though, is going to, um, from here all the way to the new wall will be all plants. Uh, I don't know where this is going to go, but it's empty right now, so it's likely just going to go back in my utility room. Um, these 180s, I got to build uh, a stand that goes here. 
And here, we'll, we'll get to that here eventually. Archer fish are doing good. And of course, the 2000, everybody is just fine. Didn't lose a single fish, but of course didn't lose uh, pumping power either. I just have a tremendous amount of hungry fish that really want to eat. Surprisingly enough, the Asian arowana did not go after everybody, expressing its anger and hunger to, towards anyone, but they're all doing fine. Oh, and I did this wall too. But it's built weird and things weren't like lining up properly, so I, I just kind of put the panels on it or whatever. But uh, yeah, it, it's pretty awesome. I don't know if I want to put a door handle on this door. I kind of want to have people come in here and feel trapped like they can never leave. And the only way to get out is you kind of got to go whoop. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I love it. Now, I did get the worry that these areas um, are going to, you know, limit circulation. Uh, I just have to, you know, create methods of circulation. You can always figure things out, especially if it's only 550 square feet out here. It's not that big of a deal um, because I heat the building, not the aquariums. But maybe I should start heating the aquariums to cool it down out here. <sighs> but with this room and the wall being back up, it kind of feels small in here, but not that much. It's not that bad. Oh, and this is the, uh, the power breaker. Um, so walls are painted, floors painted, this is done. I can move on. Man, it just looks so cool out here. Like really awesome. Can you guys give a better look? Ah, damn it, I gotta hold it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was gonna feel small, but it's just like, uh, I kind of want to have like, um, is maybe I want to, I want to be able to have coffee out here, sit here, and I might just do two bigger chairs, but I think a bench would probably be best because I could just move a bench out of the way so much easier and I'll just build the bench, probably out of like reclaimed wood or something. Um, and on those panels, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if they'll go on the other wall. I'm kind of thinking maybe they should, but I don't know just yet. We'll have to see. What I actually end up coming up with but yeah this has just turned out absolutely fantastic oh and another thing like see this corner over here it's not finished up there I don't need to the TVs right there but um, that's like so a pass uh, power cords through it which I have to redo because they're all coming those hanging there but I'll be able to hide power cords and every everything will be hidden back there at some point but yeah, this is gonna end up looking pretty cool. Um, lots of natural light. Now watch this, so this uh, window, you're sitting in front of it right now, still lines up with that door. This was the original design when I built this entire building, and that lines up with that window down there. But that window's not gonna be seen because there's gonna be tanks in it here soon. And, um, but I guess you'll be able to see through the tank and see that window, but it was for crosswind. And I actually never opened the windows a single time out here. Never needed to. Anyways, I'm going to build those stands today. Big thing is uh, clean up. Uh, I got to get this yard back in order. Um, but uh, that's where we're at. We're ending the month off like that, which I'm excited about. I wasn't even going to put this video out or even make a video for a few days, but I kind of wanted to end the, bit, the month off like... I wanted, to, I, I wanted to take your guys' minds off the hurricane and the things that we went through and you know some of the damages it seems like the town is like it never happened man the nova scotia power the people from the united states all over canada that came to help us thank you so much you guys were awesome you did a fantastic job um and uh we're really grateful yeah for those in florida that are going through this now my heart is with you stay strong and um if you wake up and you're still alive and everybody you love is still alive it's not that bad. Things can be replaced. I know it's hard. I know it's expensive. I know you don't have the money. I know. Life isn't easy, but so long as those around you are still alive and, and, and everybody's healthy and safe, let's start there. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.